<laughs> it's such a pleasure to see you all here. People that making the difference. This is the first time ever we're doing this CU Alumni Reunion Week President's Dinner to honor special people like you. And without any due delay, I would like to give the floor to the President and Rector, John Shadok, to welcome you for this special event. So what a pleasure to see actually this relatively small group because I think <laughs> later in the evening we're gonna be overwhelmed by the numbers. So at this time we can all spend some time with each other and have a nice dinner, et cetera. But this is uh, an extraordinary occasion, 25 years that we're celebrating. Serge reminds me that this is the first president's dinner. Uh, it's also my last dinner as president. So I'm not sure whether there's a relationship between those two. Maybe I should have planned more of these dinners so we could have had some earlier. But this is a, a very um, uh, wonderful occasion to be able to celebrate. I'm going to say much more upstairs about the university. So I won't talk about the university in any, any depth right now. We have a lot to celebrate at the university, and I'll tell you about that. But what we're celebrating here now at this dinner is all of you. And um, I think it's, you know, there are so many different uh, strong levels of support that you represent around this room for CEU and for um, CEU's impact in the world, which I think we're going to, we, after we're 25 years old, you get to be old enough that you start having an impact on the world. And I think we're going to demonstrate that to ourselves tonight by introducing representatives of the extraordinary alumni body that we now have, over 13,000 alumni uh, in 149 countries all over the world. There is almost no country that doesn't have a CEU alumni representative. Right, Serge? Am I right? Almost no country. <laughs> OK, there thank you very much. We're, yeah, we're, wor <laughs> we're working on uh, Maldives, I think. But actually, who knows? We'll see. No CEU has been seen there. Uh, yeah, well, no, we have an alumnus from there. I happen to know. Uh, never mind. So this is a, a, a moment to celebrate you. And I, I want to begin that by, by making, actually, a wonderful announcement um, of some news that perhaps some of you may have already heard, which is that this week um, the CEU Senate and the Board of Trustees unanimously elected my successor. So CEU will have another 25 years, I can guarantee that. And I'm very pleased to announce to you um, that my successor is Professor Michael Ignatieff. Uh, who is a distinguished uh, Canadian academic and professor at Harvard and former um, leader of Canadian politics. So he comes with many different elements that will, I think, enrich the university. And it will be an honor for me to uh, pass the baton this summer to Professor Ignatieff. But I, w I wanted to make sure that this particularly august group that we have here assembled hear heard this directly from me rather than uh, uh, hearing it uh, or reading it in, in some other message that you might get. I had earlier this um, year, actually at the end of last year, informed the Board of Trustees that this would be my last year, seventh year, having been uh, rector for seven years. Um, that seemed to me just about enough to uh, be able to find a successor who would be able to carry on the tradition that, uh, that we have here. So that's just an announcement. But let me now begin the celebrations of, of what all of you represent. Um, each year at the graduation at CEU, and there are maybe I don't think there are any very recent graduates in the room, but they will know that my charge to the graduates as they leave, all 500 or 600 of them, the final words I'm listed in the program as giving the final speech. And my final speech um, <coughs> consists of five words. The five words are, go out and save the world. So remarkably, that's what our graduates, many of them, go out and do. And it's a world, I think we would all agree, that is in desperate need of saving. So there's a lot of work to be done. It's not as if uh, 
CEU alumni are, are going to go out there and just may wave a magic wand and, and change things. Um, and there are many ways to save the world, to do so in your profession, to do so as an artist, to do so as a poet, to do so as a political leader, um, to do so as a family member. There are many aspects of the world that can greatly benefit from the values that we like to think we have uh, inculcated our graduates in. So tonight uh, we will celebrate. Um, we have 25 um, alumni for our 25th anniversary whom we have selected as representatives of alumni who are out saving the world in different ways and have made great achievements. Uh, we have 15 of them who are here today. So we will introduce you to all of them and then they'll be further introduced uh, upstairs. But before introducing them and turning the event back to Surge so that we can get on with these wonderful celebrations of your achievements, um, I also want to note that we have here with us tonight um, CEU faculty and staff, uh, many of them people that you would know, and I'm not going to introduce each of them individually, but just say that we have seven heads of CEU departments here. I could, I'm, I'm talking here in this room right now, not just upstairs, they're with you, so you can meet them and talk to them. The economics department, medieval studies, history, legal studies, environmental sciences, mathematics, nationalism studies, all uh, represented here amongst you. We have the deans of the business school and the school of public policy. And we have three vice presidents, uh, alumni affairs, development, and external relations. So you have a chance at dinner to talk to each of them and, and find out what's happening in their areas. I'm sure that will be very interesting to you. Um, I also want to give special recognition before we go further uh, to our most generous um, alumni donors, some of whom are also going to be recognized tonight as um, uh, with the CEU Special Impact Award that I've been mentioning. And I wondered if I could just ask the members of the CEU Milestone Society, if you know who you are, our most generous donors, just to stand so we can recognize you uh, just briefly, if you could. You may not know who you are, but I know who you are. <laughs> Constantine. Maury. Maury. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And it's, your, your generosity is enormously important to our university. Uh, we also have our most consistent annual alumni donors, those who may not be able to give large amounts, but who have consistently over the years, every year, generously supported their university. And I think we have a society that we call the Loyalty Society. Right. Now, do they, if you know who you are, please stand so we can recognize you, those who are consistent regular donors. So I think we should now proceed to recognize our wonderful achievements of the 25 years through the work of our uh, special graduates who are receiving the Alumni Impact Award as representatives. This is not to say by any means that there aren't many, many more similar to those whom we're going to recognize who are all over the world. But we are here tonight and we're very honored that 15 have come here. So Serge, I'm going to turn the platform back over to you to begin the recognition and then eventually get on with the dinner. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, John. Established five years ago, alumni awards are given every fifth anniversary year to alumni for outstanding career achievement and or, usually it's a combination, service to the university community. CU 25th Anniversary Alumni Impact Awards given to 25 exceptional alumni whose actions and achievements exemplify CU mission and enhance its reputation internationally. Well, she is named one of the most influential women in Hungary. Former ambassador to the United Kingdom, Hungarian ambassador, and one of the most generous donors. Currently global director and partner of Ernst & Young, and, very importantly, 
mother of CEO alumni herself, our own Borbala Tsakov, coming from Hungary and business school, IMC First Generation. Thank you very much. Next person is a well-known human rights attorney practicing for over two decades. He's currently the country representative at the office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights in Uganda. The person is Uchena Emeliona from Nigeria, Legal Studies 2004. Uchena. His best known documentary film, Fire in the Blood, has won numerous international awards. He's an award-winning filmmaker and owner of a Sportwater India film production company. Coming from Canada and India, graded of History Department 94, Dylan Gray. Keen supporter of National Alumni Scholarships, one of the most generous alumni donors, currently the head of Micro Research and Chief Economist for Eastern Europe at VTB Capital, one of the largest Russian financial services companies, coming from Russian Federation and Economics 2000, Pyotr Grishin. Very special person, such a governmental position in any country is not held by any CEO graded. She is the first CEO graded which, who occupies such a position, and she is first female Minister of Defense of her country. Coming from Georgia, Polite Political Science 96 graded, Tinahid Kidashaya. He is actually star of CU alumni football team. And together we were two times student alumni tournament champions back in the 90s. Now he is the largest individual alumni donor, director and owner of an international agrochemical holding, Peters and Burg, coming from Ukraine, Kharkiv, Legal Studies 94, Konstantin Kurganov. one of the most loyal alumni donors and one of the best student union presidents, my favorite, <laughs> co-founder and director of Bridges Across Southeast Asia, uh, an NGO that champions justice education and rule of law initiatives across South Asia. Coming from the United States and Legal Studies 2003, Bruce Lasky. One of the most loyal alumni donors and one of the most creative and interesting, really very dynamic alumni chapter leaders, currently making sure that city of Prague doing well, third deputy mayor of Prague coming from Czech Republic and Political Science 98, our own Jakub Leps. A distinguished scholar, a former Fulbright Fellow and the Fulbright Program Ambassador to the Czech Republic, rector well-known Palatsky University, coming from Czech Republic and graded of History 97 in 2004 when he got his doctoral, Yaroslav Miller. An 
Nalama Donor and winner of multiple awards for outstanding research in his country, the Vice President of the Polish Academy of Science and the graduate of first generation of environmental science in 91, coming from Poland, Paweł Rowinski. Serving those in need in Afghanistan, Syria, many other countries, one of the most generous alumni donors, head of regional office of the World Food Program in Eastern Ukraine, coming from Uzbekistan, Gender Studies 97, Zulfiya Sabirova. One of the most loyal alumni donors and competitive ultimate frisbee player. Who knows what it is? She can explain that. One of the most active chapter leaders and volunteer who helps us a lot with student recruitment. Currently director of digital sales at Paramount Pictures in the United Kingdom, London. Coming from Russian Federation and Political Science 2004, Ksenia Shermina. one of the most cited experts on government affairs in Slovakia, and a man whose work contributed to Slovakia's ranking on Transparency International Corruption Index improved significantly. Executive Director of Transparency International Slovakia, of course, coming from Slovakia, and Economics and Political Science, 98 and 99, Gabriel Šipoš. European and pro-democracy voice in her country, co-founder and CEO of Global Education Leadership and Transnational Education NGO, currently Director of International Assistance Coordination and Cooperation at the Ministry of Economic Development and Trade, coming from Ukraine, Political Science 2005, Olena Tregub. scholar, passionate about furthering open society in his country, rector of Ilya State University, coming from Georgia in Medieval Studies 2000, Giga Zidania. <laughs> These are 15 people, very special ones. But we have 10 more people, and we thought that it would be appropriate if we give their names so you know who they are, just to make sure that next time you meet them, you say hi. We'll be, we'll be trying our best to meet them in person during this anniversary year and give them a word as much, you know, in a particular atmosphere as possible. Again, in alphabetical order. Silar Bank from Hungary, Economics 2002 and 2009, Alternate Executive Director of International Monetary Fund in DC. Adam Bodnar from Poland, Legal Studies 2001, Ombudsman at the Office of the Human Rights Defender in Poland. Peter Cunningham, United Kingdom, International Relations 97, Managing Director of Branding Science and one of the major donors of the university. Nevis Dagilis, Lithuania, Economics 98, one of the major donors of the university and the founder and CEO of his own investment company, Nevis Investitios. Grigory Golosov, Russian Federation, Political Science 94, Professor of the European University Institute in St. Petersburg, and one of the most significant political scientists in Russia. Monika Makove, former Minister of Justice of Romania, member of the European Parliament and currently member of the Board of Trustees of the University, coming from Legal Studies 93. George Mark Vilashvili, important name to pronounce right, coming from Georgia, Sociology 94, he was studying here, President of Georgia and former Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Education. 
Cristina Marzea from Romania, RS98, former managing director of equity research at Barclays Capital. Orsad Miljenic, Croatia Legal Studies 94, former Minister of Justice in Croatia and one of the founding members of the Transparency International Croatia. Ezra Simia Chilova from Kenya, DPP Public Policy 2008, CEO of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission in Kenya. These are the people that are missing today, but they're in our hearts and we're sending our best greetings to them. Thank you so much. This is. Very <laughs>